Hello, good evening and welcome back to another session on reading comprehension. And once again, our agenda today is to analyze a, a, a passage essentially, uh, specifically an Aeon essay. And I want to apply all of those techniques that we have learned to make my task of uh, comprehending the information faster, more efficient, uh, should take less time. And most importantly, am I getting the main idea quick and early in my reading? Because uh, as either you will see in later sessions or you might have finished a lot of videos already, you have seen that finding the main idea makes a huge difference uh, uh, because then a varied amount of detail can just be tucked under various compartments and categories and it becomes easier to process information. Again, these are all ideas that have been covered in the basic videos in terms of the ideas. So what is the idea? Idea is there is always a central idea and then there is a lot of elaboration and we want to look for that central idea. So uh, extended uh, hello, uh, but before I start, drop in a hello and tell me you know what's going on. So once again the uh, sheet for this discussion was shared earlier, even if you haven't done it, uh, read it with me, get those main ideas going in terms of what are those things that make my life easier in terms of reading, right? So what I want to do is uh, the big difference between reading articles on the web or essays from various sites, etc. and your cat passages that in any of these articles, if you find it on a news site, or newspaper, an op-ed piece, it will already give you a title and the central idea, right? So I'm just going through the very first essay on top of the Aeon page and even oh, there is an image also to make it more attractive which will not be there in the passage and the article says the discontent of Russia and there is a kind of a summary given, a very brief summary of what the passage is about. It says Lenin envisioned Soviet unity, Stalin called Russia first among equals, yet Russian nationalism never went away. So the discontent of Russia and this line is telling me that the Russian nationalism never really went away. So now this whole article, even before I start, I know it's about Russia, I know it's about Russian discontent, how they're feeling unhappy and the cause of that unhappiness is their nationalism. They want to be stronger, uh, uh, more assertive, they want to be more dominant and nationalism is behind it, right? So even before I start, my brain has a, uh, a certain anchor to, to hold on to and start reading it because I already know. In fact, even if I don't read the details, just the idea is good enough. Make it, oh, Russia has a nationalism thingy. And this whole thing will be about Russia's nationalism, right? But this is... Uh, uh, but this is not available in the CAD passage, right? Uh, the, the CAD passage will look more like this. You just dive into the passage, you don't know what's it about. And so maybe the first minute has to be spent figuring out what the passage is about. Trying to get that article's uh, main headline going, right? And what is the overall theme? What, what could be the main idea, the, the topic of the passage? I'm using very general words in terms of, can I have some understanding of what the passage is about, right? I'm not even looking for a detailed perfect summary i'm just looking about can i figure out quickly what the passage is about <clears throat> yeah so as of now uh, if you're listening on headphones only only one side might be working i'll fix it for the next session i forgot to change that setting right so I hope this idea is very, very clear that the big difference between a CAT passage and any article that you read anywhere else is the heading, the title, the byline, the summary, the highlighted parts, the images, etc. None of that is available in the passage. So that is what I want to figure out first, right? Has anybody already read this passage and do they want to share what this passage is about? The central idea. Before I start, I just want to know if anybody has read it already. Not is also okay.
anyway let me dive into the passage uh, let's read it together and again remember i am not going to go line by line uh, which i also enjoy very much because we learn so many new things from the passage itself everything is exciting but first i want to figure out that main idea right so i will read a little and jump a lot that means i'm deploying some uh, skill known as pre viewing right reading a little before reading a lot so that that little reading gets my brain warmed up gets me what the approximate idea is in fact it might take me a while to figure out what the main idea is right but once i figure out the main idea then all the details even if i miss them if i want to read them again they will all fit into place right okay so somebody has given me an answer but that is not right so let me dive into the passage humans are not the only creatures that show a refined grasp of social norms humans are not the only creatures so maybe it's about animals and maybe it is about social norms right <coughs> and then a story starts if a group of adult male rhesus monkeys find themselves sitting around a turning table set with food they will display an i scratch your back yours and you scratch mine if i again even at this level i haven't figured out the main idea of the passage even at this paragraph level i am talking about social norms and this specific story about the male rhesus monkeys macaca mulatta is about social norms and this is one story that even in animals there are social norms right not that i am very interested right now in decoding this very first paragraph as such one monkey will offer another okay so the monkey story is going on and let me stop and ask myself or let me ask you rather why is the author talking about these male rhesus monkeys and their fruit exchange right stop yourself and ask right now because that is what will help you categorize this information that this whole paragraph maybe is nothing about that other creatures other than humans other animals also have social norms are we okay so far right drop in a quick yes i will not even wait for your answers i am hoping that for most of you it would be okay if you got the first three videos down already right so humans are not the only creature social norms and this whole story the monkey story more details about monkey which i'll figure out later if you want to just for fun uh, but i already got an idea social norms and monkeys but i the passage is long so i don't want to spend too much time in the very first paragraph right going to the second paragraph while decades also remember reading the second paragraph you will learn something about the first paragraph again as well right and the overall story so i haven't finished the first paragraph but i'm reading the second paragraph while decades of research have dispelled the myth that so sociality is unique to our species so once again social norms and myth that so, uh, sociality is unique to our species okay the idea is being repeated and decades of research have dispelled the myth that means this myth that we are the only one with social norms is gone scientists are still unclear about just how individual animals retain information about the structure of society so society society societal norms i'm getting the idea that maybe it's about society right are the monkeys simply copying each other so again using the monkey story and there's a question being raised so maybe i will highlight it for a second right that how do they figure out this information and again uh, while decades of research right so this is the past of the story that okay for the last few decades this is what has been going on and if i read further over the years right that means again i am moving in the story chronologically so what happens sometimes is uh, uh, i might talk about a lot of ideas but all of these are separately treated uh, in the course as well for example this chronological structure has been discussed in other places as well so as of now my uh, focus for this particular session is still just looking for the central idea and this is telling you okay there is a progression in the story this is the back story this research was happening over the years biologists have used a variety of lenses to try and answer these sorts of question which sort of questions right the question that was raised in the previous paragraph so what happens is if you are paying attention and if you are connecting pieces together every paragraph tells you a little about what's going to happen and the next paragraph tells you uh, reminds you of what has happened earlier right 
again look at the timeline while 19th century naturalist looked at and so and later 1930 something happened okay now following the emergence of modern discipline of ethology so decades later decades earlier and then something happened and now we are reaching the modern discipline of two main ways of framing inquiries into the social lives of animals so we are still at social lives of animals so maybe definitely it's about society animal society human society and there, there were some questions raised about the interaction of these animals and there are two approaches okay what are the two approaches i will not even read it i'll say okay one approach is here and by contrast the second approach is here this helps me prepare okay one approach and there is a contrast in the second approach one approach takes data from observations of animals in the field okay i am again because remember i am in a hurry i still haven't found that clarity driven central idea so i am saying okay i'll come back to this by contrast the second approach is based on detecting an individual's brain activity okay and then on trying to draw a map between patterns of neuronal spiking so the first approach was data from the observations of animals in the field and the second is mapping the brain using machines uh, putting a uh, what is it called ecg or encephalogram as such or basically i'm sure you've seen it in movies right like there is a cap and there are these nodes attached to it so these are the two approaches uh, field study and the brain mapping now if you have followed the story notice the timeline decades earlier then uh, some progress then modern theory and now a new generation that means this is the latest version so can i say that so far in these first two three paragraphs just the topic was being set up first paragraph was about social norms and animals also have it the second was about there are some questions there i haven't gone through the details of what the questions are the third paragraph and was also telling me about how the evolution like how the the science has evolved earlier it was like this over the years this happened modern discipline happened there are two approaches and now a new generation of scientists is pushing for a third more nuanced paradigm for studying animal sociality so we are still talking about animal sociality only known as collective neuroscience by the way this is the bang point why because i have already read the passage but even while i was doing it i was reading it like this only that means i was uh, i was first trying to i mean first i had to remove the title and the heading and then go through it again and uh, because the passage is long and i don't want to spend 20 minutes and then figure out what the passage is about right so collective neuroscience this research program proceeds from the idea that brains have evolved primarily to help animals exist as a part of social group so what is collective neuroscience is also uh, explained kind of here that brains have evolved and they work in social group that's part of the brain function yes again uh because remember the passage is still there's a lot of information there so i don't want to get lost in the information because even if i go line by line you will see it will become very hectic so first i want to understand what the passage is about so i'll skip this paragraph beyond non human animals collective neuroscience okay so this is repeating now so in terms of human society and animal society one of the things that we are now studying is collective neuroscience could also help us decipher some of the complexities of human society as well since brains appear to work differently when placed in relationship with others so okay so brain is this telling me that brains work one way if they are alone and another way if they are working in a group or they are working with another brain so collective so far maybe the neuroscience has been okay we'll study individual brains now we're talking about studying how they brains impact uh, each other and again i'll jump in mainstream approaches to cognitive neuroscience so now if i notice the passage has become about cognitive neuroscience so if i look at if i go back again and i look at the first three paragraphs because it is a long read the first three paragraphs or three and a half paragraphs are essentially set up society social norms animals have them there are some questions this is the history of the research and now bang this is the new tool that we are talking about 
which is cognitive neuroscience and uh, i'm just reading a line here but when we examine animal behavior through a more collective lens we begin to see that large portions of complex brains are hungry to work in harmony that means brains want to work with each other so okay cognitive neuroscience is about brains working together right not a study of an individual brain but a study of the brain in a social environment uh <coughs> emmanuel tognoli is going to be a cognitive neuroscience researcher a researcher at the center for complex systems i don't need to read this like many others tognoli is convinced that brain likely evolved to deal with the information complexity of navigating and cognating social relationships so it is part of the brain complexity of uh, basically understanding social relationships and how to navigate them how to operate in them the brain it is part of the uh, brain structure right if that's true cognitive neuroscience that ignores sociality is probably pointless to uh, tognoli believes so he's saying cognitive neuroscience uh, and we want collective neuroscience right and i'll keep going so i've got a collective neuroscience where brains want to work uh, together much research in cognitive science examine cognitive science is the bigger science the science of cognition right how one brain responds to basic stimuli so again it is going into how one brain works and now we've already got the story how many brains or maybe two brains work together so much research in cognitive science examines how one brain responds to basic stimuli as in if you touch the if you if you touch a person or you stress a person or you give him a toffee how does he respond but now i have already got the idea that we are moving towards collective that okay how do two brain two brains work together and if i have already got the idea now i can start predicting that this paragraph is going to be about the problems in the standard cognitive science look at this sentence but even a study looking at the dynamic between two individuals lacks certain aspects of diversity of interactions that emerge naturally in organic more social complex groups so it is saying that there are even if you study it there are still going to be problems right and again don't want to get stuck with the details i am jumping still the problem we trying to vindicate this idea okay which idea the idea uh, if i guess right now has to do something with collective neuroscience and the importance of it uh, because i've already count encountered that has largely been a technical one so he's saying if you want to prove it the challenge is mostly technical so again the rest of the paragraph is going to be about what are the technical issues in trying to prove this point and if i again anywhere you can read anywhere now though the the problem was technical new portable technology such as wireless neurophysiological recording devices have made it possible to observe creatures in their natural environment while they interact organically and in much larger groups so they are interacting and you are studying them that and it is possible now so if i deduce that means this was not possible earlier right this might have been a problem because of lack of technology and i want to jump further because i want to get the main idea going now i have already got it that the rest of the passage is going to be about how brains work together and if i dive into any of these paragraphs i will find details of that which i will do in a second right don't worry the harvard researchers pulled these observations into a neuronal map which observations of these monkeys right which allowed them to anticipate whether the macaws would reciprocate or retaliate on screen before they did so in real life so the monkey studies are going on i'll jump again the second experiment silva points to focus on brain to brain synchronization see that's what i mean by even if i don't read the previous paragraph but if i pay attention to this single line the second experiment that means there is another experiment silva the silva guy has mentioned earlier and he's talking about brain to brain synchronization collective neuroscience and brains get synchronized now i'm having fun okay this passage passage is about how when maybe people work together or animals work together 
the brains kind of synchronize the brains have their own electromagnetic waves and these waves kind of signal uh, uh, synchronize are we okay so far i have been going quite non stop just want to make sure that we are still together also i have gone very slowly when you actually do it it doesn't take because you're also discussing a little bit and also taking tangents here and there but it should be a one two minute process right you very quickly looking for uh, what the passage is about okay a uh, very simple learning point in a pivotal study from 2010 why are studies mentioned in any passage right stop and ask yourself why are studies mentioned in any passage studies are mentioned in passage to support an idea if i already know the idea then i know this whole story the the second study is going to be about brain to brain synchronization right now i have got enough of a central idea now let me start reading a little bit more for fun and remember it's a very long article so the actual reading time might be 7 to 8 minutes 10 minutes of leisurely reading as such right uh, what i want to do is there is no heading there is no title i don't know what the passage is about let me first understand oh this is what the author is saying then i will be very happy with going through the details so this one example i'm going through in detail guelamo dumas assistant professor of computational psychiatry at university of montreal so your brain also needs to ignore this kind of information some doctor somewhere because there are not going to be any factual questions at your level right oh what is the name of the university where he is from so your brain should also learn to figure out prioritize information right show that the brains of human participants mirrored each other on a neurological level when engaging in activities together so the brain started mirroring brain to brain synchronization seems even a bigger idea right so we started with society in in studying the society in animals and human we went into collective neuroscience study of brain and in there we are getting to how the brains are getting synchronized with each other and this is the second experiment now this is where i have a little bit of fun if i was reading it in the aon essay page i would already have the fun because the title would tell me right but now i can start having fun with it oh wow i learned something new today that brains get synchronized with each other so next time when you talk to a friend maybe you'll remember that okay as you talk and as you build more rapport your brains are getting in sync right showed that what is the study what did the study show show that the brains of human participants mirrored each other on a neurological level while in engaging in activities together such as making funny meaningless gestures with their hands while watching each other details are not important brains are thinking another study including dumas involved uh, involved giving one of two romantic partners a painful stimulus either alone in a room or in a room with their partner or in a room with their partner while holding hands i can if i have the idea i can start predicting that in this study what is going to happen one of them is going to be hurt and the other will feel the pain because the brains are in sync now i have got that uh, train process going right and monitoring the effects of brain synchronization unsurprising okay i predicted pain and everything that is not happening unsurprisingly hand holding produced the most similarity in pattern a uh, partner's brain signals oh it is even a simpler level my experiment was more complex so if they hold hands their brains are more in sync if they are in separate rooms maybe they are not as much as in sync that is what is going to happen that means as you read you also start deploying your logic your critical thinking your thinking along not reading passively right also notice the energy levels guys this is like straight 26 minutes of going relentlessly at an idea and not getting distracted in between with other worldly issues right now i have momentum this work has widened into other context okay which work this brain synchronization work uri hasan a research at the princeton neuroscience institute has shown that a good storyteller can induce synchronization between her and her listeners brains oh my god that means maybe between us also right that's what we need to achieve me and you uh, you need to synchronize with my brain right because my brain is slightly more premium as of now your brain will be much better in future uh, 
सो वाइल रीडिंग और इन एनी वर्कशॉप और इन एनी वीडियो यू नीड टू हिट दैट ब्रेन सिंक्रोनाइजेशन राइट If there is shared common ground details, details, details. So again, if I look at the term repeating now, because it's a very long passage, don't expect a very simple level main idea discussion. At various par, as in various sections of the passage, uh, various ideas are being discussed. So synchronization is being discussed. A storyteller can do that. And in a classroom setting. how well a student's brain waves sync up with their peers can serve as a good predictor of how engaged they are okay so now in the classroom also and again now this is enough for me because again remember i don't have the whole day to read this one article if i'm in the exam scenario uh, i definitely might not have the time to read the whole long passage right so first 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 get the main idea now i have it is this phenomena represent present among non human animals is this phenomena ask yourself see a pronoun ask a question right wherever there is a pronoun which phenomena the phenomena of brain synchronization so now the story if i look at again if i want to map it i say okay these two paragraphs are about human brain synchronization and now we are talking about is it present among non human animals <coughs> right and again i have the flow of the river i know what are the turns and twists expected i'm not going blind in the passage anymore neuroscientists at the university of california berkeley published a paper in science in which they now i'm not reading for detail now i'm reading to prove my points to you guys right that look i already predicted what's going to happen they use a collective neuroscience lens that means that way of studying something right what is collective neuroscience how brains work together to see whether same happens for fruit bats a sociable animal that spends most of its life in a group i think is going to happen in the bats also again the details of the experiments are not important i want that main juicy part did the brain synchronize chances are they did the researchers track bats brain activity using wireless recording devices blah 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 to one another just like the rhesus monkey study different patterns of neuronal firing were evident i want a cry from one bat stimulated the activity in one set of neurons in the listener the mapping was so clear that when in a silent room i think they were synchronizing right in addition the study found that the whole group synchronizes its brain state that's what i wanted to do uh, wanted to know that do other animals also have brain synchronization the details of the experiment are not important again if there is a question i will come back to this paragraph i will read it again in detail but then remember my task will be easy because i already know what this is about and i have a very focused task of one block of information only right so i have understood that oh bats also synchronize and the bat story will still go on and i jump again to maybe a few paragraphs later these preliminary studies so lot of studies will come because earlier there were human studies then there were rats uh, not rat bat studies are important pieces of a much larger puzzle according to sliver so this guy has appeared a lot of times he has mentioned many studies their results which whose result the studies result corroborate the new idea that it's possible for scientists to discover entirely new capacities when brains are scrutinized all together collective neuroscience scrutinizing together studying them together not one by one as the old way of doing it uh again i'm jumping right because i'm also what i'm also trying to say is notice that even if you're reading a few lines from just across the passage you can still make sense of it hopefully right Uh, i'm definitely assuming basic comfort with basic level english sentences some vocabulary in place not that they were any difficult words as such but definitely the grasp of this division of information right that there is one idea only take a sports team what is going to happen in this to sports team i already know it's going to be about uh, synchronization or collective neuroscience statistics about each player can tell you a lot about whether they're going to make good additions to the team or not but whether the group vibes together collective neuroscience whether they have synchronicity whether their minds are in match whether they work together in a group can't be quantified by the number of their scores right so again it is saying there's no point in studying an individual brain when the brains have to work together 
and I hope you notice once you had that central idea that we're talking about society and collective neuroscience in animals and humans, processing information becomes easier, it goes faster and faster. In the context of social animal neuroscience, this means looking at how individual brains both affect and are affected by social context rather than starting from the perspective of a single brain. Now notice it's almost repeating and it's getting boring I'm sure because you already read it earlier. While you read it on your own it won't be boring. Uh, it's getting boring for me because I know I'm saying the same thing over and over again, right? Again I will jump maybe to the last paragraph, right? Yeah. To tackle the challenges ahead, oh perfect, this is the kind of an essay, right? We started with the history, then we went into the modern way of dealing with this thing and the importance of these studies and what new stuff they are showing. Basically, they're showing their brain synchronized with each other. Sliver reminds me, it's not a matter of completely ditching single brain neuroscience. Okay, so single, even if I had not understood cognitive, uh, collective neuroscience earlier, now I have it. Single brain, studying a single brain and studying a lot of brains together. And the big idea, wow idea is that brains sync up together. So today later when you meet your girlfriend and boyfriend and hold hands, uh, you will maybe to impress them say, Ki, do you know that when we hold hands our brains sync up together? Wow. And then maybe they'll buy you an ice cream, right? I hope this is enough. Uh, and that's all I wanted to do. We, I'm sure you can go into the details again. Now try and read any of the paragraph, pick up any paragraph from anywhere and you will see that you will already have a structure to put that information in, right? Uh, so it is not going to present too much of a challenge for you. Are we okay with this? <coughs> yes or no? Right, going back to the Aeon website, nice this is. Uh, and if you're reading, like if you if it if reading it becomes too much, in one go, right? Like if if you if you're a beginner level reader, this is what you should do. Try and find the overall idea. Try and connect it together. Not get lost in the details in the beginning, till you find a central idea, right? Uh, and once you have done that. Then you can read the article, okay, I'll read the first three paragraphs in detail and after one round of tea, I will read the other remaining paragraphs. But I already know what this passage is about. Yes, no, uh, keep dropping me a message or something. This is the article that we are reading right now. And the title of the creative title of the essay is Connected Up Brains, right? So what was the passage is about? The passage was about how brains are connected to each other, how they get into sync with each other. Yes? And if I look at the second level summary, <clears throat> bat friends, monkeys sharing and humans holding hands, the brains of social animals synchronize and expand one another. So if I had read this in the beginning, I knew already what the passage was about, right? But that is not available to us when we are appearing for a test kind of a scenario. So therefore it becomes the most important thing in the beginning to figure out what the passage is about, right, in common parlance. Okay, so that's it. I will stop right now. Uh, I will leave the details for you guys. Anyway, there are uh, not any questions here. And as of now, I'm not even going into too many skills, right? I'm not talking about conjunctions. I'm not talking about pronoun tracking. I'm not even, did not mention active reading, asking questions, whatever. All I'm saying is, can I quickly find the main idea? And how do I apply the, the same things that I do in my CAD passages while reading a Aeon article or whatever. And you just need to do it with one, two articles a day till it becomes a part of your system. And then a lot of other stuff you will just read like a regular person. And every few hours you should practice this till it is totally internalized in your body, right? That is the aim. 
so i hope this is making sense you are a course member log into the course uh, uh, you can do 30 days non stop uh, that is my maximum like that is my recommendation um, why because it's not only about doing the passage and and understanding it well and uh, and watching the discussion but it's also about doing it daily till it is internalized right uh, so you will find each passage discussed the same way in a lot more detail uh, including answering all the questions as such so one passage a day maybe 30 days but as in one passage and one hour of discussion do it for 30 days and i can promise brain synchronization between us if you haven't started please start doing so as of now i would recommend focusing on the course first and because that is there's a lot of reading material there anyway and it has questions that means it is targeted for your exam rather than vague reading right so i uh, log into there and start doing a lot of daily work right or do 14 days now and then take a break and then do 14 days after like a month or so and continue your reading for fun. Uh, your reading game will change when you start having fun with these passages, when it becomes uh, almost the same as watching a TV show, that reading an article and watching a TV show or watching a documentary is the same because my brain can process it, it's not a big challenge, right? Then it's fun, ki, oh, brain synchronized. And I have a, um, a neuroscientist friend so I will, when I talk to her next, I'll be like, yeah, bro, do you know I figured out that, bro, oh yeah, I read an article about that. And that's what life is about, reading stuff and then talking about it, right? So that's it for now. I'll stop now. Uh, for updates on the live uh, sessions that they happen, uh, you can find the Telegram channel link in the description box below. And you can find the course page link as well in the description box below. <clears throat> so that's it. I will see you guys really soon.